Hello and welcome to Daily Energize. This is video 033. I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. Mistakes to avoid when selling into big business. Big business responds to salespeople in a different way than small business. Coming up are six mistakes to avoid when you are selling into big business. They're all taken from my Selling Into Big Business course. Don't time waste. They zealously guard their time and they don't answer you as they're fearful that you will rob them of their time. So assure them that their time that they give to you will be good investment. Give them high value reasons to see you. Have very clear objectives of what the meeting will be about and plan well in advance. Don't try to be their friend. Forget that old style relationship building. Today's big business world is very different. Time starved decision makers are just not interested. So you need to prove your business value first. Show your value, demonstrate your worth, make a difference. Don't expect them to talk about their business. Now, this is often a time-related issue. It's important to early on establish credibility. They expect that you are fully grounded as far as you can. For example, going deep dive into their website and then get the inside information from them, the information that's not in the public domain. Don't give them product dump. So don't confuse their information request with them being interested. It could be just a way of saying no to you. Don't recite everything. Just remember, they don't want to make a change unless they have to. Don't use self-serving words. So avoid being the cheesy salesperson, you know what I mean, and don't use those overboard words. In other words, don't peddle things. You hate it and they hate to hear it. Don't expect them to see your value. They're busy people. They don't have time to think. They haven't sort of time to translate your offering into benefits. So. Don't make assumptions that they're seeing your benefits and value. And importantly, do the metrics or the numbers for them. I want to finish off this module with something that's really vital. To be heard, shout the business value of your offering loudly and clearly. Time for reflection. Do you make any of these mistakes? How will you use this learning. This has been a short module from the Sales Plus channel, my platform, bizvision.co.uk. Visit for free membership, free library, and to see our videos and listen to my podcasts. Or if I can help you with developing and executing your sales coaching, then let's talk. My email is mg at bizvision.co.uk, mg at bizvision.co.uk.